I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence. For our meditation today, let's turn to Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. The coming of the Lord into this world as our Savior was not a secret. As the prophecies concerning his birth were given as a sign for man and to the powers of darkness in the Old Testament. Though man is a slave of sin and Satan, the ones who really love the truth can easily identify the Savior if they diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. Everything concerning the coming of the Lord, His birth, life, ministry, suffering, death, resurrection, was given in detail to man by the Lord God Himself through His prophets. So man does not have an excuse to escape from the divine condemnation for forsaking the truth. But today we are looking at the wisdom of the Almighty God who made the powers of darkness an open shame. Satan through his corrupted wisdom uses his tactics to separate man from the love of God and make him his slave. Even today he uses different methods to divert man's attention from his Creator and fulfills their needs to give them temporary peace. But his wisdom could not discern the mysteries of the Lord. The scriptures described in detail about the humble birth of the Lord. Here in the scripture that we read, it is written, A virgin shall conceive and bear a son. Jesus Christ was not to be born in a palace, but he left his glory above and took the form of his servant and was made in the likeness of man. The term virgin denotes a girl who has never known a man physically. As this reference is related to the coming Messiah, Satan must also be on the lookout of the birth of a child whose mother is a virgin. And as it will be a miracle, it will be easy for Satan to recognize him and for the people to accept him as a holy man. But God does not want to convince man through some miracles. We know about the children of Israel who had seen all the miracles which were remarkable and they are historical. But still they refused to believe and love God and went after the pagan gods to fulfill the desires of their hearts. God did not hinder them from that as God respects the free will of man. And it is God who has given that free will to man. When Satan came before Lord Jesus at the time of his temptation, he was talking to the Lord as if he is the Lord of this world and he could provide anything if Jesus bowed and worshipped him. Poor Satan, he thinks he is the one controlling the things of the world. But when our Lord came to this world, Satan was clueless of what was happening. We know about Mary that she was a virgin, but she was betrothed to Joseph. And so Satan must have removed her from his list of, list of names of the virgins. The scripture clearly says she was overshadowed by the power of the highest and a new creation. A sinless body, in the likeness of human flesh, was created in the womb of Mary. Both Joseph and Mary did not know each other physically till Jesus was born. Satan could never imagine in his wildest dreams that the plan of God for the salvation of man will be fulfilled in such a way under his nose and he'll be clueless till it is fulfilled. Thank God for his wisdom and for his marvelous ways. Let us be assured by the fact that our Lord is the supreme ruler. And Satan cannot do anything to hinder God's plan. Then why should we fear this Satan and his host that they will hinder our blessings and will destroy us? 
are we not safe in our father's hands do you believe that god has a perfect will concerning your life and if you trust him he will fulfill it no matter even if the world tries to hinder it let the lord god help us today to trust and love him more than before let's close our eyes and pray father we praise you and thank you thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us thank you for your precious word that reveals your wisdom your ways satan though he tries his level best but he can never outsmart you lord we don't have to fear him because you are there on the throne thank you for the savior that you have given us lord help us to trust you help us to realize that we are safe and secure may your will be done in our life we give you all glory and honor in jesus most holy name we pray amen may the lord help us to trust him remember our father is wise he will do what he has set out to do let us trust him our lord is coming very soon may the lord bless us maranatha